Hi guys, welcome back to our grouting portion of the Mosaic Birdhouse kit. I'd like to say thank you for purchasing our kits. Um, our, our strategy for staying in business here has changed, but I'm really grateful at how much interest has been put into these kits. So please continue to give me feedback on how things can improve with them. And um, I, I'd like to see pictures of your guys' finished projects as well. So in the last video, we placed all of our glass pieces on the front side of this kit or this birdhouse. I went ahead and finished it. So I waited about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, you can do about half hour, just as long as they're tacky and you, aren't, you feel comfortable that you aren't gonna bump them off. But give some time in between gluing um, to move on to the next side. So I went ahead and just trimmed out the building in those half pieces. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can choose to use those pieces differently um, and leave this, this space blank as well. I used all my um, rocks on the top there and then the square stones or square tiles um, along those edges to trim it out and use my heart embellishment there on the back. So use your creativity and love to see what, what you come up with. So when I get started with grouting, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of water. You don't need a lot of water with grout. You're going to use very little actually. So I'm going to put about half of one of the, this is one of the cups that your glass came in, about half of one of those cups in to get started. Um, and then I, I noticed that it's still pretty dry and chunky, so I'm going to add some more, but I'm going to go really slow in adding my water. It's really easy to add too much water to your grout and it be too watery. You want it the consistency of thick peanut butter is the ideal consistency for this grout. So you can mix it right in that cup that, that I sent it to you in. So I'm just gonna get that all stirred up so there's no chunks and dry pieces in there. Now you're gonna wanna wait just a minute or two to let some of those chunks um, dissolve in the, in the water but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So I'm just gonna take some of this grout and lay it on here. So with this birdhouse, you're gonna to want to try and keep your hole open here and not drop it inside that hole. So I'm just gonna carefully work around there. And you notice it's just kind of thick. It's not really dripping off of there unless I really shake it hard. But you want it to be decently thick and I'm just gonna smear it all over here. And I'm wearing gloves. I'm going to do my best to put gloves in the kits, but if I, I'm having a hard time finding gloves at this point, so I may not be able to supply gloves, so I apologize for that. So I'm just gonna use my gloves now just to fill all this stuff in around here. And you want the grout to press down in between those lines and just fill it up. These houses are not meant to be outside in the winter. If you put them outside in the summer, they'll be fine, but you're gonna want them underneath a covered area. The heat and the cold contraction will cause these to crack, so you want to be aware of that. I'm going along the bottom here and just filling in underneath. I'm not gonna put it all over the bottom, but I'm filling in the tiles as I work here. And this is pretty messy, so you definitely wanna wear gloves when you're doing the grout, it will dry out your hands if you don't. And just keep adding it and filling in. So under that roof there, I'm gonna take the popsicle stick and I'm just gonna kinda of press it up in there and then scrape it out. You can also use your sponge on this, but I feel like I have more control with my hands. Sometimes with the gloves, it's a little trickier, but. Just working my way around, taking the excess grout as I go. Smearing it all over that heart, and then we're gonna have to work to clean that heart out again. So that's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of work, but it'll be worth it. It's pretty cute. 
If you have other pieces that you want to add to this and not use that heart or or add other pieces to embellish this, um, that's a great idea. So if you have um, brooches, jewelry, other things, just keep in mind the more detail they have, the harder it is to clean out. So it's just going to take work and time on your hand part. Um, and then also it needs to be water, water resistant, whatever it is. So metal cloth items are not going to do well. Making a total mess here and that's just part of it. So I'm going to cover this wood with just a little bit of grout. It's not, I'm not going to fill it in. It's not going to hide it totally, but um, I'm just going to put it on there. And if it bothers you, the wood look there, you can paint it if you choose. Most of the time when the birdhouse is sitting, you're not going to see it anyway. So I don't worry too much about that underside of that roof. Just keep working the grout in there. Filling in all the cracks. This takes a little bit of time to get everything filled in. Okay guys, as you can see, I went ahead and edited some of the video out so that you didn't have to watch the whole time as I'm cleaning or getting the grout on this. So I smeared grout on all of these surfaces. Just worked my way around, pushing the grout into any cracks and uh, filling them in best I can. I used my sponge a little bit to kind of take some, to move that grout around and to, to push it down. Um, I have a little tub of water here with me, and so what I'm going to do now is use that tub of water just to rinse my sponge out and clean this up some. Um, I use this sponge, it's just forcing that grout down in those cracks, just being careful that you don't push too hard and, or rub too hard and uh, push your pieces off. So after I get them kind of smoothed down, I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to squeeze it out really good because you want to use the least amount of water as you can with this project. You want to keep your grout as dry as you can. So I'm using it to clean off those, uh, any big chunks off of the mosaic pieces. Keep in mind that you're not going to get it clean right now. You are just getting the big chunks off, the surface stuff. You're showing what you want to show the definition of them, but you're not going to be able to get that haze off at this point. So just, just smooth it out. Don't wipe too much grout out where you lose your uh, grout in between your pieces. And this is the fun part because you can start to see your colors again at this point. I'm going to rinse my sponge again. And again, wring it out really good. And you're going to start seeing your heart again there. And we're going to clean that up more with a couple of tools. I'll show you some ways to do that. If a piece does come off for whatever reason, you can sometimes use your grout to get it placed back in. Otherwise, what I do is I just leave it. I kind of clear out a space for it and leave it. And then put my piece back in. Um after it's mostly dry, after my grout dries pretty good, and then I can kind of push it in and leave it there. And most of the time I can make it stay that way. If not, you'll need to uh, clean it out a little bit and then um, use some glue to, to put it back in. And either with that weld bond that I gave you or some E6000 is a good way to do that. If you have questions on that, feel free to message me. And get that hole cleaned out in there. Just keep working. And this takes a little bit of time with as much detail as are on these on these birdhouses. But man, they're cute when they're done. And make sure to clean up that bottom also. Not wiping the grout out of the lines, just cleaning up the bottom. You can see, see what I did there. And now, so I work on a piece of paper because obviously it's, it's making quite a bit of a mess. So I'm not gonna set it back down on that mess there now. I'm gonna keep it in my hand or get a fresh piece of paper to set it on. So now, 
I have it mostly cleaned up. I'm not going to spend too much time on it here for the video just so you guys can get an idea, but you'll, you'll work on getting it cleaned up to where you don't have any big chunks. And I feel pretty good about that. I have a few little detail areas that, that I'd probably take my popsicle stick in and clean up. Um, but I'll show you the next step here for what you're going to do. So you're going to want to have a dry rag and this is just an old t-shirt that's been cut up and you're going to take, you're going to wait for this to dry just a little bit more, but you're going to just take it and you'll see that it gets hazy when it dries just a little bit. And when I say a little bit more, I mean like 10, 10, 15 minutes and you'll just start to buff those little pieces and they'll start to shine. And you'll just work your way around cleaning up those pieces and let it sit for about 15, 10, 15 minutes and then come back to it and do a little bit more. Um, your grout will harden up a little bit and it'll be harder for it to come out of those lines or harder for you to take too much away, I guess. And then you can use, if you have a Q-tip, you can use Q-tips to clean things up as well. Some people like this. I find this too tedious. I'd rather use the the t-shirt, but if that's the method you, you can decide if you like that or not. On our piece on the back, you can see that it's filled in there and there's quite a few of the details. I'm going to take a toothpick or a wooden stick, something that's just a little bit sharper, and I'm going to go around and just clean that out. So a toothpick works fine with this. Anything, a pen can work for this, a pencil. But just get some of that grout cleaned out of those lines and define that shape a little bit more. Cleaning out the inside. If you have a little toothbrush, a little toothbrush can work on this. Just be careful that you don't get the grout around it. So it kind of is sticky still and I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more and then keep working this. It takes some time as you're doing this. Oops, spilled my water. Just to get all those fine details cleaned up. So you get the idea there, but keep cleaning it up. It's going to take you a little bit of time to get this all nice and polished. Uh, make sure you're not in a big hurry. Um, and then once it's all, once you have it buffed with your rag, you can come back in. If you have white vinegar, you don't have to do this step, but some people like to polish it up with white vinegar. I'm going to leave that up to you if you choose to do that, but that'll help it to shine a little bit more too. But keep wiping it with the damp or with the wet rag and really it'll start to um, show all your colors really nicely as well. Um, the grout color that you guys have in your kit is white. This is more of a gray. Um, I ran out of white is why it's not the same, but you have the idea of the grouting. Okay, well I hope you enjoy. Uh, feel free to send me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you.